and right into the sun. As, mm -hmm. if, as if on cue, the clouds move away. Uh, always. So then we gotta swim. Mm -hmm. I'm Gilbert Godfrey, thank you. Welcome back to the renewed homestead, because I gotta squint into the sun. Does Gilbert Godfrey squint into the sun? Gilbert Godfrey always squints. <laughs> you don't know who that is? I think so. I think so. <clears throat> Not a child of the 80s, are you? Yes, I'm a child of the 80s. Yeah. I just like to Kinny, get... Kindergarten. All right, everybody. It is time to set up the paddocks in our fenced-in pasture. Yes, so, we finally got the fencing done. Yes. Hey everybody, welcome back to the new homestead. Ben and Denise and Loki. And we're at the top of the pasture and we are setting up our paddocks. So we're gonna, uh, first off, we calculated how much fence does the sheep, what, how much fence do the sheep, sheep oh my God. <laughs> how much space do the sheep have in their electric netting? <laughs> currently, currently. So yes. it was 164 feet and 100 mm -hmm. feet of the two fences. So. Divide that by four sides, you've got 66 feet. We went 70 even. We cut a piece of rope, actually a piece of the poly wire because all my ropes all birds nested up. So cut a piece of uh, the poly wire and what we're doing is one of us stands along the perimeter fence. The other one stretches it out to 70 feet and we're intermittently putting our posts. Now these are the temporary posts. Yes, I can steal this one. These are just the temporary step-in posts while we uh, figure out exactly how we want this to be. And, you know, at a future date, we might do a little more permanent posting. But uh, for now, that's what we've got. Well, and it's, it's good to be able to be flexible because there's going to be some times that one area might be a little bit better than the other. So it's really good to be able to, uh, to change up I, the paddocks a little I, bit if I needed. Just on the fly because right yeah. above us, they've got drainage coming off the old house that drains down into the, pat, into the pasture. And so there's one area that gets really muddy, so we might want to have to go around that now we did, during what season. We, you did try to cover that up some. We, we tried to divert it. Let's yes. just, we'll just leave it at that. We tried to divert it. Yes. So, <laughs> so. Anyway, so we're going to take you along while we measure this out. Uh, we've got the first corner one done and the one below it, but the sheep have already been through here. So we're going to set up two more running sideways, and that will kind of give us a chance to... Uh, see how it works, see how we do with it, see what we would change before we go, you know, measuring these all out all the way down. Plus, we probably don't have near enough of these step-in yeah, posts we'll to do it. Yeah, we'll have to buy more, yeah. for sure. But anyway, all right, let's get to it. So what you folks are looking at right there in the foreground is the corner between one, two paddocks. This will be three, four. So that's the actual corner spot. Now we're measuring down. We're already measured there, so go ahead and step across that way. Loki, <laughs> Loki, we're not fishing for doggies. Oh, sorry, it's hooked on the rose bush. Another reason to love the rose bush. Oh, 
Oh, there it's it off, goes. It's off. Uh, cannot wait for the cows to eat the rose bush. You got hold of it? Yep. Let's uh, slide down a little bit more there. All right, that's good. Imagine that, I hit a rock. All right. That's probably good. Yeah, that's not bad. I was only off by a foot and a half, estimating 70 feet. There we go. All right. We have a square. All right. Well, we've run uh, post around four paddocks. We need to run two more. And go figure, we gotta go buy some more parts. So, we're gonna run to the store. We'll be right back. Hold tight. Bathroom break if you need to. Well, since we're not squinting today, you can tell it's the next day. Yeah, we had to go to the store and, you know, shop around for these step-in posts. One place around here was... Uh, Almost $6, right? Yeah, $5.99 a piece. Another store was 319? 325. 325. Significant savings because we just had to pick up 15 more of these and you know, we probably need some more. But Yeah, eventually they're on two lines right now. Um, we might eventually go to one line, but for right now I feel more comfortable that there are yeah. two. I know the oxtails are what people prefer, but you can only run the one line yeah. with those. And so. those are up higher. So. Yes. Well, yeah. And right now they're used to the netting, so they have it completely in front of them. So this... This will be good for now, but this is a, a good feeling. You know, we've got two complete paddocks set up. Sheep moved up there. Before we got the power to it, Spoticus decided he was going to go on through, but the power of sweet feed. Yes. <laughs> oh, I guess we, I should have had you record I, that. It, it was too late. <laughs> Come up with the, the scoop full of sweet feed. Spot shakes it, and he comes charging down the hill towards her. I'm like, well, get up here where the gate is so he doesn't overshoot where we want him to go. But, yes, they don't get it very often, but every once in a while, it but, is a useful tool. And they know what it is. So. Yes, they do. Anyway, so uh, uh, in some ways, I'm hoping Billy doesn't watch this video because he will be sorely disappointed in my knot tying skills. <laughs> Put those on a bad part, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Nice Consistency. 
consistency. Consistently bad, not consistently good. Just wanted to hold. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Billy. <laughs> yes. Sorry in advance. And we know we've made mistakes. This our first time doing this, so. Uh, Double-edged sword, you know, put in the comments what we're doing wrong, you know, it's like, well, but it's good for the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that we're doing things wrong. We know that we're going to make mistakes on how we're doing this, but that's why we're setting up. We set up two now. We'll come back in and we'll set up two more uh, to get four just to get a feel for it, how we're going to be moving around in the paddocks, where the gates should be. Um, so it's going to be a learning experience. We know this. That's okay. That's part of homesteading. Sure. That's part of us doing this. But I am excited. We've got the perimeter fence done. We've got yep. two paddocks up. Like, this is huge, y'all. This is a big accomplishment. Yep. So, yes. I know he's still looking at the work that needs to be done, but I'm like, celebrate the wins when we have them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Billy just did a video about that. It's like, you know, kind of small bites, you know, take, take, take the small wins and, and appreciate what you get done. And I'm, I'm trying to do that. It's just yes. you know, looking at all the cleanup that we have to do besides just getting the animals moved. And it's all right. it's just a lot of work, but that's all right. That's, that's what that's, we signed up for. That's what we signed up for. And we're so, glad we're here. I, yes. would, I wouldn't trade it for the city again and for anything. No, we've got to, this is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So let us know, as you saw, we're, we're moving this out. We're using poly rope. Um, we've got the step in posts in. Um, if you have some constructive criticism, we would love to hear it. Um, if you have <laughs> videos that um, you could recommend, because I actually looked online to try to see the best way to set up paddocks. And I know we've seen Joel Salatin's pig where they, they leave a... a row in between so we're, we're working on different things so if you've got a, a, a recommendation for somebody that actually built paddocks and showed us how they did it i was looking for that and i was having trouble finding it so that would be much appreciated yeah. and i'm thinking down the road once we have this established the way we want maybe some of these step-in posts get replaced with t posts at least for like the corner between the paddocks but we'll see that's yeah. down the road. I, I like I, I like the flexibility, so we'll see. But once, I, because you never the, know what's going to happen. But once it's an established pattern, well, we don't have to drive them in so deep that you can't get them out. I know, but it's and a lot do. harder to pull a T-post out than it is a step-in post. Well, it's not that bad now that we have a tool that just goes whoop well, That's right our out. neighbor's tool, not our tool. <laughs> they're, they're so far away that we can't borrow it again. <laughs> I like the flexibility because you mm. never know what's going to happen. Mm. Right? You never know. Like I said, what if we end up with three cows and only a couple sheep or no cows and all kinds of sheep all of a sudden? Or, you know, well, I'm just and, saying. And what you if we wind know. up with a partridge and pear tree? I'm just saying. You I'm never know. Saying. Flexibility. Somebody's got a birthday coming up. Hmm. Tea post puller? <laughs> That's your gift. <laughs> I want kettlebells. Which, by the way, what? my Christmas gift finally got here. Anybody else having trouble with their delivery, their mail delivery? Yeah, it this took was ordered forever. before Christmas, but it's a genuine, real, 100% Leatherman because I can never find tools when I need them. So <laughs> yes, I thought I, it would be a good gift. Did you think it was to be a good gift, or was it a gift to stop me from whining about not being able to find my tools? No, it's because I knew you would enjoy it. That's right. Now, as long as I don't lose it, <laughs> somewhere down there is my other my other knife that uh, William gave me. It hooked yeah. on a fence, and you know. We'll find it. Yes, you'll find it with the lawnmower yes. next spring is what you'll do. Yes, but like we said, we know we're making mistakes. We know yeah. we're, we're making mistakes we don't even know that we're making, but we will eventually know that we're making those mistakes, if that makes sense. Yes, dear. Yes. <laughs> All right, but yeah. thank you so much. This is yeah. a big victory for yep. us, and uh, I can tell you it is so much easier <laughs> to open a gate, let them through, than having to... Uh, take up the yeah. netting, put it back in, deal with the rocks. Well, maybe you should put a link to one of the one of the previous moves so they can see what we went through. Yes. For for the new subscribers. Yes. And if you're not subscribed, please go down right now, click that, click the little bell button so you get alerts. Yes. And while you're down there, 
well, as soon as the video's over and you've hit that thumbs up button, go over to renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop and get our homemade deodorant. deodorant. Homestead and farmer approved. That's right. Didn't want to use the other. <laughs> <laughs> no. And coming very, very soon, we're sealing the deal on something else special that we'll have on our website really, really soon. It's really cool, and I think you guys will appreciate it. Yes, and, and if you can still work the soil, we can still get some comfrey root out to you. Yes. Um, we do not dig it up until you order it, so it will be fresh when you get it. Right. So. Yeah, it's not sitting on the shelf, because, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, time to clean up, and look at that, another day gone. Those look like snow clouds. Nah. It's cold. They said rain tomorrow, no yeah. snow. Yeah. Possible snow next weekend, and got a special treat for you next weekend hopefully hopefully if, if the weather if, holds out if the weather holds out and the stars align and the fuel tank gets filled we got a special surprise it's the weather but <laughs> i'm no fun i know i know i, I overcomplicate things i really do all right thank you all so much for joining us <laughs> all right take care everybody god bless see you on the next video bye y'all bye